The re resolution is adopted. Without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid upon the table. An historic moment as the House of Representatives voted for a second time to impeach President Donald Trump. He must go. He is a clear and present danger to the nation that we all love. A passionate debate on the floor over charges the president incited last week's assault on the Capitol. I rise in support of impeaching again the worst president in the history of the United States. He is capable of starting a civil war. He must be impeached. He must be stopped now. Impeaching the president in such a short time frame would be a mistake. No investigations have been completed. No hearings have been held. To preserve this sacred place, this citadel of democracy for ourselves and for posterity, let us say enough, enough. What's being debated is whether with 167 hours left until he leaves office, is he a clear and present danger? And he clearly isn't. The third ranking House Republican, Liz Cheney, and several of her GOP colleagues voted yes. These articles of impeachment are flawed but I will not use process as an excuse. Senate Majority Leader McConnell said today he's not made a final decision on how he will vote and will listen to the arguments when they're presented to the Senate. But a spokesperson said he will not reconvene the Senate for an emergency session, meaning a trial likely won't happen until after President-elect Biden's inauguration next week. Speaker Pelosi has already named the nine impeachment managers who will act as prosecutors making their case before senators. They include California Representatives Ted Lieu and Eric Swalwell. And within the past hour, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi officially signed the articles of impeachment accusing the president of incitement of insurrection. She used the same lectern that was grabbed by one of the rioters during the attack on the Capitol one week ago. Now, this second impeachment is a swift and stunning collapse of President Trump's final days in office. He leaves the presidency as a weakened leader, having lost re-election and the Senate Republican majority.